So I did it. I rented a Tesla Model 3 from Hertz. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my experience. So let's just get right into the video. It's going to be a different one from my normal videos, but I'm excited to share with you guys my experience of renting a Tesla Model 3 from Hertz. So let's dive right in. So first things first is I already went ahead and rented out a Tesla Model 3. Uh, if I go ahead and try to reserve right now, it's going to be saying that sold out. Obviously, it depends on where you're going to pick up the Tesla Model 3. Now, when you go to the website, it gives you the Tesla Model 3 and some specs and why, you know, it's the best plug-in electric vehicle, this and that, yada, yada. Some features of the d vehicle. I was going to say device because I'm so used to talking about devices on the channel. Um, so if we go to reserve a Tesla Model 3, I mean, I already, like I said, I already reserved it. So I'm just going to show you the process of it. Uh, you're going to choose your location. And mine was originally set to Orlando, um, but you can choose from these airport locations. Um, and then you can definitely check um, in other locations if it's uh, available there too. So here are the airport location. So let's go ahead and, for example, choose uh, Los Angeles. Let's change the dates to like May 10th to, I don't know, May 13th. It's probably at this point, I'm thinking it's going to say it's sold out, but we'll just try ahead. Um, and if it's not, then I'll show you the process of how to rent and reserve one. If not, then, oh, okay. So there it is. So it's saying that this model is guaranteed when we take a look. Um, so you can do pay now or pay later. And it's, if you do pay later, $123.48 per day. And if you pay now, it's $110 per day. So you're saving an extra like 13, 14 bucks per day. Um, and since I chose what, about three days, um, three, four days, it's $432 in total. If I pay now, $481 if I pay uh, later. So let's just say we're gonna pay later, just to make the process a little bit smoother. Um, and then you're going to choose which one you want to, you know, add um, liability insurance supplements, protect yourself and your wallet. Um, if you want to just do personal protection package, and then there's additional rental equipment that you can add to. There's some service options, um, but let's just go ahead and let's not choose anything right now. Uh, you'd enter your name. You're, you're in checkout, obviously. Um, and you're going to enter payment information. Then once you click submit, um, you have to make sure that you have your driver's license, a valid credit card, um, and minimum age is 25 or uh, make sure you know the restrictions. Uh, if you're under 25, like let's say you're 23, for example, it's going to charge you a fee because you're not 25. Um, so there is that. Um, so here it is. This is really the information you have to fill out. Um, and then you hit reserve and you're all set to go. Uh, this is th where I am currently. I'm in this step. I already reserved. And I'll see you guys when I head to Orlando and I go ahead and pick up my Tesla Model 3. So here we are, we're in the Tesla Model 3. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually test drove one, uh, but now I get to finally use one for about a day, a day and a half and kind of learn how to use it and see if it's really the car for me. Obviously, I'm not going to you know, purchase a Model 3 anytime soon, but uh, nonetheless, the experience, I'm really excited to you know try it out. Uh, this is, I just like how simplistic this interior is. and. Let me see if there's wireless charging. Oh my goodness, there's wireless charging. All right, I know I'm surprised, but it's my first time actually using it for more than like 30 minutes. Um, so for those of you who know a Tesla, this is this is it. And uh, it's about, I can't even, see, I don't even see where they're, it's about 9.57 right now in Orlando. Uh, I'm just going to get to my uh, destination for tonight and just, uh, have some dinner, a late night dinner, and just rest for tonight. And tomorrow, um, we'll we'll get back in touch. All right, so here it is. 
it's now daytime as you can probably tell and i'm about to go to my friend's house to have some breakfast uh, but in the meantime i just wanted to give you guys a little update um, so here is the interior of the model 3 very minimal but it's very clean i really do like it um, here is wireless charging i really like how there's wireless charging for two devices um, and that comes in very clutch uh, I like this full screen and it's very responsive. It's not like a bunch of other cars that um, are just not as responsive as this one. Um, and what I'm thinking is that with renting this from Hertz, you may have some limitations. I've yet to find those. Um, but so far, I'm just trying to learn how to, I guess it's very straightforward. Everything is on this screen. Um, and I'm still trying to learn it though. Here's how I kind of shift gears but um, it's kind of different because I'm usually shifting gears um, right here, but when it's up here, it's kind of a little bit different, uh, but I've gotten used to it very quickly. Um, I love this, this moonroof. I really do like it. Um, if you want to stargaze at night, that is a huge plus as well. Other than that, this right here, the key is right here. Um, you can definitely tell Hertz had to kind of, um, you know, put it in a key lock or a card lock to, secure that um, there's a lot of room space right here um, there's my camera um, here's the Sony a7 mark 3 um, my s22 ultra charging up right now uh, but here it is zero to 60 is really fast that's what I absolutely love about this uh, it just picks up really quickly and it's very very quiet I know a lot of uh, people who love cars like to hear the car but I just like how quiet it is. I absolutely love it. It's great, but I'll keep you guys updated um, and I'll show you guys some B-roll. All right guys, so Tesla Model 3 right here. Um, here is the key, which is, I like how they use a card, um, but since it's kind of locked in here, I can't really put it in my wallet, that's okay. And I'm not using the app right now. Uh, I'm not gonna try it out anyway, um, but here it is, Model 3. So I have the key right here. I open the door, as you can see, Model 3. Here's the interior right now. It's very minimal, I really do like it. Um, and if I open the back right here, I just love the way I can open the door right here. So here's the interior, very minimal. Um, you can pull these right here. And if you ever wanna sleep in here, well guess what? You have the option to sleep in here. So I wish I could try that, but I only have this for a day. Um, I tried it out last night. Definitely you would need a mattress. Uh, what I like here is there's USB-C ports, so if you do ever need to charge your device, there's a little pouches in the back. It's very spacious too. It's very spacious, let me tell you that. So let's close that. It's really nice, really nice sedan. Let's get in right here. Let's close the door. There it is. Lock that right here. And we're gonna take, it says available when parked. I am parked. It's still not letting me use it. So I'm gonna try to figure that out, how I can use this. Maybe since it's a rental, I'm not allowed to use it. We'll see. I'm gonna take a look into that. But here we go. I'm just gonna place the card right here, put my foot on the brake. There we go. And I'm all set to go. Uh, when I go into rear, I really like how there's cameras. Um, I've quickly gotten used to it. I've been using the cameras more so than the mirrors right here. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a very minimal car. I really do like it. Here it is, I got my coffee. Uh, it's pretty hot down here in Florida. It's in the mid 80s right now. Some might say that's not really hot, but for me, it is coming from Rochester, New York in this in early May. It's still like in the early, you know, late 50s, 60s, like 55, 60, sometimes in the 70s. 
Uh, there are points where it snows in Rochester, but here it is. Very minimal. I love the wireless charging, like I said. Uh, but this has really definitely changed the way I I see Teslas now. I've, I've seen like mixed reviews, like, oh, it's a great car, oh, it's a bad car, it's this and that. But in my use case, this is a perfect car. It's super quiet, obviously, you can hear the air conditioning working right now. Yes, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower that just a little bit. And when you pick up speed, it sounds like an airplane. That's what I love about this car, it's so quiet. Now, this right here, the controls are very simple. Um, volume, changing volume like that and whatnot. Um, it's not a half steering yoke uh, like the new Tesla Model S, so maybe upgraded or a a newer Tesla Model 3 in the future will have a half steering wheel, those steering yokes. But in the meantime, this is Model 3. Um, just wireless charging, it's amazing. Some people might not like it because it's so minimal, but to be honest, I, I absolutely love it. Um, now, my experience right now with Hertz, um, so initially I went and I did everything through the application. I you know, put in my driver's license information, my payment information, then I went up to the Gold Rewards member desk uh, at the rental car area, and I gave them once again my, uh, my license, and they walked me to the car, they asked me if I know how to drive a Tesla, and I, I said yes. I've, drove, I've driven one before, and they just showed me once again, you know, how to use the car real quickly. The guy was like, it's literally self-explanatory, which you can tell right here it is. Um, but I sat in the car and we talked a couple minutes. Um, I asked him a couple questions, where's this and that, and I was all set to go. And here I am today, next day. Um, it hasn't been one day yet, but it's, you know, with 12, 13, 14 hours of using this car, it's definitely changed the way I see Teslas um, in a good way. I like the experience. It's very comfortable. It's, it picks up really quickly. Uh, no issues whatsoever. And I don't know. I think this... I'm really debating. You know, obviously, I'm not going to pick up a car anytime soon. But, you know, picking up a Tesla is definitely... Um, it's, it's up there. It's up there as one of the cars I want to pick up as my next car. I currently have a 2012 Honda Civic. Um, but there it is. It's a very spacious car for a mid-sized sedan. It's not the Model S, so it's not the largest sedan. Uh, the prices are creeping up, but what can you do? Anyway, I'm going to go shopping a little bit and I'll give you guys another update. All right, here we are. Let me just grab the keys. Okay, I got the keys in my, my pocket. I'm all set to go. There it is, the car is charging right now. I'm at a Tesla supercharger. There it is charging right here. And if you look right in the, well, you can't really see from here, but it, it really does say, if I can close it and then show you. Nope, it won't show. It says time remaining 45 minutes with 44%. But I open the car or the door. I sit in right here. There it is, 45 minutes, um, 90 watt kilowatts. So about 400, around 460 miles per hour. Um, I don't think that's the fastest uh, charging speeds, but it is what it is. I'm I'm not going to charge it for, I'm not going to wait here for 45 minutes, wait just a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm going to go grab some coffee, get some work done, take some more B-roll footage of the Model 3, and continue on with my day. So it looks like I, only, I already paid $2, but... It's not too bad. I love how it's so minimal and clean. I just love this minimalistic design of the Teslas. Granted, there, there may be better electric cars out there, um, but Tesla does make just really good Tesla cars in general. Um, but here it is. Here's my, my rental black with Hertz. And so far, the experience has been great uh, renting from Hertz. Uh, I rented online. I, I did my check-in from online through the app. Uh, and that's really it. Everything else has been just a breeze. Um, the man who was who helped me, assisted me, just asked me if I knew how to drive a Tesla and just showed me uh, just the general instructions of how to drive one. Everything was self-explanatory. It's on the screen. Uh, and then I was all set to go. I really like this design. Some people may not. Uh, the fact that it has cameras 
um, right here. It's got some cameras right over here. It shows your blind spot when you're driving and turning uh, when you're in rear. Everything about it uh, is really good. The trunk is pretty spacious. It's not too bad. You know, taking a look from the back seats, this is how it looks. Not gonna lie, that is really clean. Uh, many people may disagree and we have our own preferences if we to who likes this minimalistic design and who doesn't but the interior the infotainment system i really do like it's one big screen everything is from that screen it doesn't have apple carplay or android auto that's okay that's perfectly fine uh for me uh, but if you can take a look right here supercharging uh 40 minutes remaining at 54 percent and it dropped from about 90 kilowatts to 74 75 that's not too bad but here it is here is the interior uh, that's one of the main reasons i personally like this interior but i also like uh modern cars that have like a bunch of buttons and designs and really anything like that but teslas are really good too i can't wait for the cyber truck i can't wait for roadster semi um and i do write uh, by the way i do write a bunch of articles about tesla the cars in general uh, on Medium, I'll be leaving the link in the description down below if you want to read some of those. Get granted, I haven't written too much as of late, but I still do write many articles about Tesla, so be sure to take a look if you are interested. Okay, a little update. Let's just lower this down to one. I am officially returning my Tesla, well, my rental Tesla Model 3. It was an awesome trip. Um, just to reiterate things, I bought it for two days. I rented for two days. It was about 85, 90 bucks, um, for each day. But obviously I put in the insurance and there's other fees and this and that. So it came to a total around $300. Um, so for those of you who are interested, definitely do take a look and try to plan ahead, uh, because these do get rented out very quickly. As you can probably tell right over there, there's a bunch of other Tesla Model 3s. These do get rented out really quickly, so be sure to plan in advance. Um, and this is really it. We know what a Tesla is. We know Model 3s and Model Ss, uh, but the experience was really good. It was very uh, smooth, seamless. I had no issues whatsoever. It's a very, um, everything is right here on the screen. It's very easy to use. It takes about five minutes to get used to using this device it's a very minimal uh, some people may not like this design that is okay the experience with hertz has been pretty good so far I i've had absolutely no issues whatsoever um and i'm gonna return my vehicle board the plane and get back home and see how the f well this is my really experience just sharing my experience so um i hope you guys did enjoy this you know tesla video it was a first for me um this is definitely going to be on my list of future vehicles i'd like to um own hopefully one day maybe it might be more than just a model 3 it might be a model s or a newer vehicle that tesla releases in the future um, but i'm going to give you guys one last tour of the outside as well okay you know what it's actually very loud outside so let's go ahead and i don't know why this isn't turning on but that's okay um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this experience of the Tesla Model 3 and my experience with Hertz renting. No issues whatsoever. Uh, it's great that, you know, a rental car uh, company is renting out or letting us rent out Tesla Model 3s. It gives the user an experience to try out uh, this vehicle. And if they like it, then they actually can go ahead and purchase it. Um, and that's really it. It really changed the way I... Uh, see Tesla model, you know, not, not even just model three is just, you know, Tesla vehicles in general. It's good to get the experience of driving one before you go ahead and say, Hey, I want to pick one up. Uh, and I would definitely recommend trying one out. If you're out in the select locations, there's a couple of different select locations. If you're in Florida that I believe there's Miami, Orlando, there's one in Atlanta, Georgia, I believe Los Angeles has them too. Uh, Superchargers are really fast. The one I went to uh, yesterday was the max 150 kilowatt hours. Uh, there's definitely 250 watt kilowatt hours and those are much, much faster. So if you do come across those, um, then make the best use of it. Uh, it only takes about half an hour time. And I did figure out theater mode. I just had to you know, put it on park and connect to my Wi-Fi and that was really it, no issue whatsoever. And I was able to watch some YouTube afterwards. But here it is. Um, I wish I was able to, I had more time so I can get in some more um, thorough looks of the Tesla Model 3, but 
Uh, this is all I got for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the YouTube channel a lot. I'll help push my content out to more people. Until next video, guys, this is MTG.